What's up guys, Perfection here. So I have had a bunch of people asking me, how do you make videos on your, of mobile games? You know, how do you, how do you get the videos? How do you capture them? What software do you use? So, or how do you play on the PC? So this is going to kind of cover all that. Um, first things first is we're going to talk about how to play a mobile or Android game on a computer. First things first is the Knox Apps Player is the app that I use. And you can get that by going to this site here. And I'll put this in the description, but it's www.bignox.com slash hashtag P1. And more or less, if you just Google search, just Knox Android, anything like that, it's going to be just this first site that comes up, bignox.com. You click it, it's going to take you here. You download, install it, cool, it brings up this program here. Now, here's the thing. This program is basically just a, ver it's like a, it's a tablet, essentially. You, you are looking at more or less a tablet, but into your computer. It's a virtual machine, okay? Um, you when you first boot it up it's going to ask you for your google account just as if you had an android device it's going to ask you for that so if you don't you make one you log in you go through that cool you're in then you go to the play store and you search for mobile strike or game of war or whatever game you're trying to play so mine has an update I can do it. I'm not going to do it right now, but essentially you can install it and then it will be here. You launch the game and essentially you see how you can kind of see this preview here. This is the app I use to record so you can kind of see what's going on here. Um, I want to move this over here so I can enter my pin and didn't take that. All right, move it back. I have two monitors. I have one over on the left hand side that I use for just communication apps that I, you know, from gaming. Anyway, um, but now that's how you play the game, and you'll notice that this runs way faster. I, mean, I don't get delay. I mean, you see the videos. There's there's no delay really, in in what I do. If I want, you know, if you want to attack somebody, you just double click on them real quick with a mouse, boom, pulls up that window, set your deployment preset, done. I mean, it's just, it's fast. And you can do that quickly, especially if you're speeding, like you want to speed up a march. I'm just going to do it on this. That's a bad example. Let me find something like across the world. <clears throat> but. You, just, you know, on a control point, the march takes a little longer. Yeah, this work. One minute, that's still going to be... F Here, we'll just attack this with a troop. How long is that? An hour. There we go. No commander. All right. One hour. Now, the positioning is pretty close where you can click the corner of that. I mean, so it's just fast. I mean, you can do this on multiple marches, but I mean, essentially, and you know, what's going to suck is this is he's probably going to have any troops to kill this troop. So I'm going to have to bring it all the way back. Let's see. Yeah. I have to bring it all the way back, but essentially you can just do that. And it's back. I mean, it's fast. Now, if you're on a control point, you can do it just as fast. Okay. So that's essentially the Knox app player. It, the reason I use Knox is it actually utilizes your computer's hardware. It uses if you have an aftermarket graphics card for gaming, it'll utilize that graphics card to do the GUI or to do the uh, graphical processing GPU. So um, it makes it kind of makes it like a virtual GPU, but it, it does perform much faster, especially on a and if you have a solid state drive in your computer, it's going to perform much faster as well. Um, so that is the Knox apps player, and that's how you can play your games on your PC and record the games essentially even if it's an Apple or an iOS game as long as it's made for Android you can do the same thing here now for those of you that say hey you know I'd like to record my videos or I'd like to record this or do that 
Um, what we're going to use is a program called OBS, Open Broadcaster Software. What you're going to do is you're going to go to this site, and it's basically obsproject.com, or you can just Google search OBS, and everybody knows what OBS is. It's basically if you see a streamer on Twitch or on YouTube, they're using OBS. I mean, this open broadcaster software is the most known software for this. Not only because, you know, XSplit is a paid version, but the reason people use this is because it's fully customizable, it's open source, and people make a lot of cool plugins for this. But you download it, install it, cool. Now you've done that. You're going to get an option to launch OBS 32 bit or 64 bit, do 32 bit, okay? 64 bit. It isn't really going to give you much more than 32 bit will. Now, how do we set this all up? Well, you can do whatever you want. Okay, so this is more or less a. We'll, we'll just we'll use this scene for an example. You make a scene. Okay, the scene is this entire big black box. Okay, it's this big huge box. All right, so. I have my display capture on here because it's capturing my entire monitor. If I were to delete that, you wouldn't see anything I'm doing going forward, so it really wouldn't benefit you much, unless I was using a different program to record this happening. But I'm not doing that. So um, this is essentially the program. This little square here is the scene, okay? And this is what you're seeing. So the whole thing's a red box. Now let's say I want to add. Um, Okay, we'll say that we want to have a background. So we're going to do an image. I don't even know what I have on here. I'm going to move this over to the other screen. Y'all don't need to be seeing that, what I choose. And we'll go with this one. Okay, so I chose the image I wanted. Now this is basically, I'm building my image, or building my scene that I have on scene one. But I can't really flip over to that because you won't see it. So I chose the image. All right, now what do we do here? We stretch this out to maximum. You're no longer gonna see, but well, you might still see it. That's essentially gonna cover up everything. Okay, so I'm gonna kinda cover half of it, okay? Because it's gonna make it where you're not gonna be able to see anything. So, that being said, this right here, inside this window, I'm looking at this I see that's what you're gonna see when I when I um, post this or, or just finish recording it all right so image I'm gonna move so you can go to order and you can move to bottom that's gonna basically put it behind everything okay um, if that makes any sense but I'm gonna go ahead and expand it out the whole width of the screen okay so that's that now add and I'm gonna add a window capture okay so this is a window this program OBS is a window Knox is a window or actually Knox can also be a game capture too but I'm gonna do a window capture and the first thing I'm gonna grab is can I grab OBS it's not gonna let me grab OBS what a pain Mm, cool idea. I'm gonna grab, remove. Remove that. Uh, I'm gonna add a game capture. Capture specific window. Then we gotta choose it what we wanna capture. So we're gonna say Knox at player. Get a little preview of what it's gonna look like. Cool, we got it. Yay, okay. Now we can kind of take this Android app and resize it. All right. Now, you see the little image we got back there? Uh, you see how I'm kind of showing that there? Okay, so what we're going to do so you can see this, especially going to shrink this bad boy down just to sudge. And it's, imagine, oh, imagine this being your, you're essentially building your scene. Okay? So what I do is I put my webcam in this area here. Wait, am I even showing you? I 
Yeah, my webcam I put in this little area, but I'm gonna blow this back up for you guys. So you can kind of see exactly what. So on the image, I'm gonna shrink this image down just a little bit. Alright, so basically on this, I've more or less put the webcam right in this area and I put the and the Android app player in this section here I it takes up the whole area and then you of course you put your like subscribe reminders you can put other information in here if you want you could add like a text document it'll read off the text in there but essentially that's just the basics this, this there's really no limit as to what you can do you can get as creative as you want with this you can create little framed windows and whatnot for your for your different things but this is kind of just a starter video of how you can record your gameplay and start a YouTube channel if you want to you know upload your gameplay now <clears throat> specifically games that are kind of competitive where you want to record like for example mobile strike let's say you want to record you're zeroing somebody but you're out you're not at home now if you're on an iPhone I I really can't help you uh, if someone that plays on an iPhone can tell me what app or post in the comments what app they use to record in-game footage on an iPhone that would be pretty sick but for those of you guys that are on Android if you go to your Play Store oh sorry we got sounds going on and you check out it's called actually you know what we got an Android environment right here I don't know if they make it for this, but it's called AZ Screen Recorder. Okay, so you're out and about. You can record just your in-game footage. Unfortunately, it's not going to have all the other fancy stuff, but you can go in and do like a voiceover later if you want to, especially if you're in a loud place. But this is the one you download. AZ Screen Recorder, no root. If you donate, you get a couple extra features, and it's worth the donating on it. It's like $3 or $5 or something like that, but it's worth it because it does give you some really cool features. Um, but... Yeah, more or less, that's gonna get <clears throat> that's gonna get you recording. That's gonna get you at least started. <clears throat> now, editing. If you want to do after the fact editing, two things. Why is that? I'm closing down the machine. Oh, it's because that came over the top. That's fine though for what I was showing you. Now, two things I want to, just the last couple things I want to add is <clears throat> editing. If you want to do edits, you want to do customized edits after the fact on your videos, there are a lot of free solutions, and I will make a video on what free solutions you can use to do so, but um, more or less, the best ones that I can, I, I use Adobe Premiere Pro create, uh, on the Creative Cloud Suite, but it can be costly. Um, I believe if you are a student or you have an EDU email, um, you can get it cheaper. You can get the entire thing for like 50 bucks a month. You know, there's different packages if you're a student you get it for 20 bucks a month basically if you just have an edu email address you get it for that um, that's that's probably the best one that I know of but of course it, it, it does get expensive um, there's Windows Movie Maker uh, it's not the best but you can you can use it until you can afford something if you're on a Mac um, there is it used to be iMovie, and it got it got turned into something else. Was was it iMovie got turned in? Well, maybe there still is iMovie, but I think you have to buy it now. It's not free, but uh, there's another program, Final Cut. Um, I don't know if Final Cut got, Cut got merged into iMovie or iMovie got merged into Final Cut. One or the other happened, but essentially they kind of become the same program. Um, that is that option, and I'm going to kind of switch scenes real quick. So you can set up multiple scenes if you want to do different things, and I'm actually going to switch scenes, so it'll basically be this. 
And uh, more or less, if you wanted to, as long as you're extremely thorough in your recording process, you do not have to do edits if you, if you record and do multiple takes of it. Um, but if you are going to have to do edits and use like Movie Maker, one of the cheaper programs, try to do clips of the best stuff you can get, re-record one minute segments and then piece them together as one clip instead of having to cut things out of the middle because it gets a little, cutting and trimming in the middle gets a little more tedious. You have to create transitions and it looks kind of funny sometimes. So that being said, just just do that. Um, these are just cool, uh, you know, text files that it reads from. But anyway, long story short, that's my quick intro on doing mobile game videos or any kind of mobile app videos this may help um, some IT professionals if they want to make um, video guides on how to use certain or how to do certain things on an Android you could do that with this you could go in and uh, and do a video on maybe connecting to a wireless or changing a an email password I mean there's all I mean, it's all kind of it opens the door for a lot of possibilities so anyway um Again, like, subscribe. I, I'm, if y'all like these kind of videos, I can start doing more technical type videos just as, in a completely different playlist. But, um, and, and I've contemplated doing that. Like, you know, just guides on, you know, making your cell phone run faster. I mean, there's there's a lot of things that I, I know of you can do to make an Android run way faster. Uh, especially mobile games. I know a way to make those go faster. It's just, it's just a, uh, you know, I can do technical videos and get a little more technical. It's, you know, but I don't want to jump into that if, if you know, you guys aren't going to be interested in that at all. So just let me know in the feedback below, please. And, uh, and I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, like, subscribe. Peace.